the automotive industry is going through a revolution. India has already established aggressive emission reduction objectives and the vehicle sector is one critical area where emissions can be dramatically reduced. Today, every debate on EV adoption will inevitably lead to three of its major drawbacks. To begin with, the initial cost of an EV is relatively expensive as compared to their IC equivalents, followed by the usual charging infrastructure and finally, the physical space necessary in metropolitan areas for these public chargers. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman announced the battery swapping policy and special mobility zones with zero fossil fuels in her budget speech. Considering the constraint of space in urban areas, for setting up charging stations at scale, a battery swapping policy will be brought out and interoperability standards will be formulated. According to the government, this will encourage private players to develop sustainable and innovative business models for battery swapping or battery as a service. What the policy draft says, they want to level the playing field between EVs with fixed and swappable batteries. In the first phase, they will target metros with a population of 4 million or more As the EV adoption increases, the attention now is shifting to building this infrastructure, such as charging as well as battery swapping stations. After the recent budget, it's clear that the government is aiming to establish battery swap standards with a focus on electric two- and three-wheelers that ferry customers and cater towards last-mile delivery. In light of the limited space available in metropolitan areas for large-scale charging stations, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman declared that the government will implement a battery swapping policy as well as interoperability standards. This will boost EV ecosystem efficiency, the Finance Minister stated during the recent budget. Niti Aayog is collaborating with Bureau of Indian Standards, the Department of Science and Technology and others to create a precise technical standards for batteries. To fully comprehend India's consideration of battery swapping, we must first understand battery swapping or battery as a service. So, what does battery swapping entail? Battery swapping, as the name implies, is a means of keeping a vehicle running by switching out the battery. Hence, battery swapping, also known as battery as a service, enables EV users to change out exhausted batteries for charged ones at dedicated swap stations. This will solve the issue of charging station installation as well as driver's range concerns. Furthermore, battery leasing can assist EV owners to save money on battery purchases. In comparison to charging at a battery station, which might take hours in theory, the service is faster and takes only a few minutes. In comparison to charging station, it also requires minimal space of area, precisely for fleet owners who want to keep their cars operating without worrying about charging time. This technology has opened a world of possibilities. So, what are the pros and cons of this technology? And who are the major stakeholders in this field? The perks of a battery swapping system are obvious. With regulated charging conditions, battery leasing replaces battery ownership, lowering the initial cost of EVs and extending battery life projection. And not to forget, battery swap stations take up a fraction of area of a charging station. On the other hand, the detriments need more reflection. For instance, there is a lack of consistency across EV batteries, and the battery pack design is not suitable for a quick repair. Battery packs also have a shorter commercial life owing to customer demand for newer batteries with a longer range, more power, which will, in turn, increase in number of time. Following that, OEM's slow adoption of charging methods, higher battery leasing prices over the course of EV's life, and a higher GST on separate batteries as compared to batteries sold with the EVs, such matters have to be tackled. Conversely, as demand for EVs grow, Manufacturers are steadily lining up and testing new models. Many commercial companies and government-backed organizations such as ESL, BSES, Sun Mobility are already launching charging stations in the battery swapping area. Fleet operators such as Delivery, Flipkart, Amazon and Domino's on the other hand have expressed interest in using battery swapping advantages to cut delivery cost and preserve the environment. Periodically, some of these projects and associations make the headlines, like Hop Electric Mobility unveils battery charging and swap stations, 
which was followed by Hero Motor Corp working with Taiwan's Gogoro to build EV charging and swapping stations. So there are a lot of announcements in the whole EV charging as well as battery swapping space, providing a lot of incentives, right? In Budget 2022, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman stated that the government will implement a battery swapping strategy and specific mobility zones for electric vehicles. The strategy would likely concentrate on battery swap service for three-wheeled auto rickshaws and two-wheelers such as electric scooters and motorbikes. EV owners may receive up to a 20% discount on the cost of a battery subscription or lease under the policy. The incentives will be in addition to those offered for purchasing the EVs. With foundations in place to promote battery swapping as a viable alternative to battery charging, the projections are there will be about 12 million tons of lithium-ion batteries which will retire between 2021 and 2030. So what becomes of the dead batteries? EVs emit less pollution than their fossil fuel equivalents, but they aren't entirely green because all the metals used in EVs are obtained traditionally as it's tough and expensive to extract the precious metals from an EV battery. These batteries are generally shredded before being broken down further using heat or chemicals at a specialized recycling facility. The difficult element is getting dead batteries to those facilities from wherever they have demised. So, rather than recycling, some experts believe that keeping the batteries in use for longer in various areas would be a better answer. Although these batteries are no longer capable of powering cars, they can be utilized to store the surplus electricity generated by solar or wind farms. Battery swapping is a high capex industry, but its viability is improving with each passing day. Furthermore, with the notification of the PLI scheme, we are on the verge of a cell level localization in India, which will result in cheaper batteries in about 3 to 5 years. Gogoro, a small town in Taiwan, has already shown the rest of the world that battery swapping for light vehicles can be a big success. The most important element to remember is that OEMs must maintain a high density of swapping outlets across the city. While some companies have chosen to use existing petrol pumps, others have chosen to build up swapping stations in Kirana stores where shop owners can stock about 2-3 to three batteries that can be swapped quickly. Finally, India's EV objectives are predicted on the successful conversion of two- and three-wheeler automobiles into EVs. The swapping game is only getting started, and it has an immense potential in a nation like India. Looking at the recent government policies, it is very clear that the government's focus is making India the global hub for EVs.